Hey guys, how's it going? This is LJ. Uh, still working on the third generation 4Runner. Lots of projects going on. Uh, just got the front high clearance uh, coastal off-road bumper built and installed yesterday. I uh, got full skid plates. Uh, but something that, that I'm going to do in between all of that, I'm going to do a front diff drop. Okay, if you put a lift on your Tundra, your Tacoma or your forerunner, you know, your axles pretty much sit like this when it's stuck. And then you lift it, they're going to be running like this, which puts more tension on them and gives them, you know, makes it easier to break them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drop the diff and, and take a little bit of that out. All right, I'll show you how we do that. All right, you guys. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to remove your skid plate, okay? And to remove that, there'll be three bolts right under here, 12 millimeter, okay? That's what sits up in the front. And then in the back, you have two more bolts, or at least in this case. So there'd be two bolts back there and three bolts up here. Now, since I'm going full coastal off-road bumpers and skid plates. Um, you know, just, just did the finishing up touches here on the, uh, on the front of here. This is gonna be the front of the skid plate. Obviously it's upside down, but just put the rubber coating on it after paint and primer. Came out really nice. So obviously we're not gonna put this back on now. With the diff drop kit, we won't have to worry about using these because these are for uh, this pan back here to drop it down. You know, that's that's to actually drop this thing down here, and uh, we don't we don't need to do that because the pan will clear. So all we're gonna have to worry about today is just putting these in. You need a 19 millimeter. And I couldn't find a 19 millimeter wrench, so I got my universal metric and standard wrench. All right, first thing you want to do, you're going to want to get your jack. You're going to want to get your jack under the diff. All right. And then these bolts right here, those are the 19 millimeters. We're going to take those two bolts out. As you can see, this already has a diff drop in it, but those are plastic. And I just feel a lot more comfortable with aluminum. So we're going to go ahead and just drop those out and put the new ones in. This way goes in like this. Make sure you put your jack in a good spot to get right in the way. Over there, there. That's much better.
this is how it goes on. Just like that. Don't forget your spacer. Okay, the passenger side is really tight and really difficult to get it in there. So, we do the driver's side first. A lot more room, much easier, all right? Okay, we got on there. So we got the old ones out, and we got the new ones in, and that's it. Now, if you don't have an aftermarket skid plate to put on, you're going to put your stock skid plate back in. Now, you see that we have these spacers. Well, we're not going to need those anymore because this, in this mess here, this is where you would put the spacer between your two skid plates, okay? And that's to drop the front down because we just dropped the front diff. So you wanna make sure that you put your spacers right there to join those two. And then you'll just have your two skid plates, or I'm sorry, two bolts at the back of the skid plate. All right. Well, you know, if you guys would like to see how I built this uh, front bumper, Go ahead and check it out on the channel. Here's the the new skid plates. Let's see that. Paint primer and undercoating. This is in the back. So this will go up in the front. That's in the back. That one is gonna be for the gas tank. And then we'll have the rear bumper. And we're gonna be putting uh tire on the back too so we got more videos to come oh yes and the bud built rear diff skid plate something people seem to always forget about on these toyotas the rear diff all right you guys until next time please hit like please subscribe please leave a comment and thanks for watching lj off-road and hot rod mods